It's National Forgiveness Week, marking a time to accept that apologies of those who wronged us are the best. And Dr. Katie Stewart is offering some insight into why this can be easier said than done. I think we all know why it can be easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> but let's dig into this a little bit. Oh, tell us why forgiveness is so very important. Well, I think first of all, I want to talk about what is it, right? Yeah. And I, I honestly believe we get so many messages about forgiveness that everybody should have their own personal definition of it. So think about it. And if you want to tell us, great. I just took over the whole show. No, no, please. Please. <laughs> no, but truly like to me, I thought about this a lot. It is the decision to no longer allow past hurts to hold you hostage. Yeah. Right? Oh, I love that. But That's you have way to, better words than I could use. You have to make that decision again and again and again because these things come up. And if we don't do it, it can have really bad effects on us. There can be depression. There can be anxiety because every time you are flirting with, we'll say, that memory of the times you were wronged, you are stressing out your system. Yeah. yeah. So it, can, yeah. can you forgive somebody while still believing that it was not okay? 100%. And I think that really the myths about forgiveness and what it means are some of the most important things to tackle. Because we often hear forgive and forget, right? Right. Yeah. They do not have to go together. Mm -hmm. You can absolutely forgive without forgetting what happened and still learning from it. Forgiving someone does not mean what you did was okay. It means I'm not going to let that affect me anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and I will say uh, a personality flaw of my own, and I will admit it. <laughs> you only uh, have I a couple. I, so. I, so, <laughs> oh, only 20. Uh, but I will say holding grudges was always something that I was really good at, exceptional at. And it took probably my early 30s to be like, Kel, why are you carrying it around? Right. And my mom always said it's a heavier weight for you than it is for them. And that yep. just sticks with me. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's hard, right? It is absolutely hard to know that we have been wronged and we get self-righteous and indignant about yes. it. And if I let that go, it's going to happen again. Guess what? It might happen it again will. anyway. So what about on the other end of this? What if you know that you've wronged someone mm -hmm. And they are not forgiving you. Is it okay for you to forgive yourself in that situation? Yes. Like how? Because because we've all done that to somebody yes. else, where we yes. have wronged them in some sort of way, and that can also be a heavy burden to carry. Absolutely. I, I think this is such a great point. I will say that it took me to my 30s and getting divorced to accept that you cannot go through life without a decision you make hurting another person. Yeah. That was one of the most difficult things that I ever had to understand. And you know, I think we hurt people every day, but the other person gets to decide whether or not they forgive us. We are not doing ourselves any favors by not forgiving ourselves because you can't really move on no. right. without that. Yeah. Control the controllables. Yeah. I try to say it Absolutely. every single, and I know, again, easier said than done, but it is so much easier to move on from it. And like you said, I think it's also a part of aging and maturity mm -hmm. to know that, yes, I have had to wrong some people right. to get where I am today, but I hope that whoever comes across me knows I have a good heart and I'm, right. I'm you know, you have it, good intentions. Is, act, I honestly believe that hurting people is unfortunately an inevitable part right. of being a human being. It just is. It is. We're, we're going to make mistakes along the way, mm -hmm. and sometimes those mistakes have consequences. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about yes. apology languages. Yes, oh. me too. Because so, we talk about love languages sometimes, and we know that you can fall into different categories, mm -hmm. even though some people believe it might be a little made up. That's fine. Whatever. Uh, but let's talk about apology languages. Okay, so first things first. Do not, I repeat, do not say, I'm sorry you feel that way. Yeah. There is judgment yeah. in that statement. So some people like different things. I want to hear that that person is sorry for what they did and that they know what they did, like that they're taking responsibility. So that's one way. Some people want to hear, well, what's the restitution involved, right? Like, how are you going to fix this? One of my favorite quotes that I can't attribute to anybody, I don't know who said it, is the best apology is change behavior. Yeah. Preach. Wow, yeah. that is just right? so true. Yeah. So, I right. mean, I think you just have to learn, especially in our closest relationships, what does that person need in an apology? Just give it to them. Just give it to them. I mean, you it, mean it and you want to repair. It really mm -hmm. is true. Right. Oh, so good. Forgiveness is important. I'm, I'm reborn. Right now. <laughs> Katie, Katie is with us all hour long. Stay tuned. After the break, Dr. Katie Stewart is helping us answer some of your parenting questions. Bree Schmidt is also sticking around with us, too. So don't go anywhere. We're doing that next.